Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are looking at my vintage dining room. So this footage you're looking at right now, I actually filmed over a year ago, I believe, or maybe just about a year ago. And I never uploaded it because I'm not, or I wasn't really happy with my dining room. Like I wasn't hundred percent into it. Something just felt off and that made me just not want to upload it. But I have made some changes recently that have caused me to like it a lot more. I definitely think it's a big improvement and I'm much happier with it. But I thought I would just include this footage and then I'll show you what it looks like now at the end. And I don't know, like life is a journey. Your house is a journey. Things, you know, take time. I'm trying to have a lot of patience when it comes to our home and be conservative with like money and vanity projects. So really, I'm just trying to make it look like nice enough for right now because I don't know, the economy isn't great. Inflation is insane. We've been having a really hard time finding like contractors to do work that we need to do on our house so I just I don't feel like now is the time for vanity projects I'm not saying there's anything wrong with doing that though if you are doing that I'm just for me and how I feel about it so I just wanted to say that so I'm just reusing these curtains that we had like a few houses ago um, and I actually really like them I put them up initially just as something to put on the window and then I ended up liking them and then we've got our tv trays that we keep in here and then the china cabinet the china cabinet is something I'm not 100% happy with it's just like not like it reminds me of like 90s or early 2000s or something it's just not really the vibe but I don't know <laughs> I might do like a DIY on that and then some point in the future or maybe I will just get a different one like that's more period accurate. I do really love having a china cabinet though because I have china that is um, like sentimental and special to us. So I want to be able to display it. I don't want to just have it like in a cupboard somewhere where I don't see it. So these are just a few things that I keep on kind of the middle part of it that's open those glasses i got so cheap at the thrift store i worked at um but they're actually super expensive so i feel lucky that i found them and then the china that we have with three different um sets so this pink stuff is john it belonged to john's grandma John's parents um, gave it to him when they were selling their house. They were cleaning with their attic and asked him if he wanted it. And John was actually um, close with his grandma. Like she lived with them for a while. So it's really special for us to have it. And then this china belonged to my grandma who passed away when I was a kid. And my aunt actually sent this to me as like a housewarming thing when we bought the house, which means so much to me. Um, so I'm hoping that I can find more pieces. I just have four teacups and saucers and then four little, I guess they'd be like lunch plates or something. Dessert plates maybe. And I believe this is called Oaklawn Maroon. And then this yellow stuff is stuff that we just bought, um, a few years ago. But I believe that it's from the 1960s. And I think I take, a video of the back of it but we actually have a ton of this we found a really big lot of it for like eight dollars and then I've since found more pieces as well and then on top I just have this piece of blue mountain pottery that belonged to my grandma that she gave to me I think I've mentioned this before in other videos and then this plate actually belonged to my grandma's mom so my great-grandma who I did know she she lived until her 90s um so she said she wanted me to have that which was really sweet and then I just got another piece of blue mountain pottery to kind of match with it and then this is our table we bought this quite a few years ago like before I started YouTube um I think the owner said it was like from the late 60s or early 70s and then I just have these two shelves and they have these little figurines that came in tea I believe this started in England and then in Canada. They were called Wade figurines, but some people call them, I think, like red rose tea because that's the type of tea they came with. You just got one and a box of tea. I believe that they may, might even still do them. And I think that they do them in the U.S. now too, but it might be a different tea company. I don't know. 
but these are all fairly old and they belong to my dad's parents. So my grandma and grandpa, um, and then my dad and stepmom had them in their house. And then a few years ago, they sent them all to me um, for my birthday. So it was super special. So this is something that I really wanted to have on display as well because they're super sentimental and like important to me. And then these top ones are like newer ones. They started doing it again in the 90s. And then just like the other curtain, I just hung up these curtain, the curtain that I had in my old kitchen. They won't fit the windows here, unfortunately. And I just put it up when we moved in just to have something up there. But I actually don't mind them there. They kind of match with the walls and stuff. But um, I am trying to find more so that I can take those and then like cut them and sew them to fit the curtains in the kitchen because I do love them as kitchen curtains. So then underneath I just have this bar cart. This has been like the biggest source of frustration for me. I've tried setting it up a million different ways and I'm never happy with how it looks. So I think this is probably the main thing that frustrated me about this room but this is just a bar cart I bought from Amazon. I was thinking about doing the black part in gold but i never got around to that and then i have this shelf on the wall with my salt and pepper shakers i posted a video a few weeks ago sharing my whole collection and then also everything that was in that like pie safe that you saw at the beginning of the video and then so there is french doors in here that go into the living room and then there's also a french door like from the hallway that you can walk in through right here this is actually my childhood bedroom i don't think i mentioned that before but this room it obviously didn't have the french doors it was just closed off and had like a normal door also this light fixture hideous i hate it i did something different with it that i definitely feel much better about but anyway here's an overview of the before and then now we will get into the after which i am much much happier with so I ended up taking the French doors off. So I took it off this door. Now we always kept it open. So it was always blocking the salt and pepper shakers. Like we never closed it. So I was like, why don't we just take it off? And then that way it's not like awkwardly there. So because the door isn't there, I was able to move our TV trays there. And I think it just fits the space nice. There's plenty of room to walk by. And then now we can actually see the salt and pepper shakers not through a french door and then i put this piece of furniture in here which is an old i believe it was like an old stereo i got it when it was completely empty but the speakers were like where that fabric is but i love this piece of furniture it's in a little bit of rough shape but it was only five dollars and it's actually vintage um but it opens up and i just keep um spare like blankets in there for you know when it's cold in the winter when we first moved in, I think I had it in the living room by the like entryway. And then I have these vintage candles and uh, candlestick holders, this kind of very fall plate. So I'm my house is decorated for fall, so you kind of can get a little sneak peek. We've got the little tiered tray there that I bought in the summertime. I still kept the same curtains up. I ended up uh, moving furniture around, which you can obviously tell. So I switched places with the china cabinet and the pie safe so i think it looks way better the china cabinet kind of fits in nicely against this wall next to the closet which is actually a pantry and everything in the china cabinet is the same like same china i might have added some more pieces to it and then on the middle part there i just have some cookbooks right now i'm not sure what I'm going to do with that and then on the top it's the same except that the last time I went home to visit my grandma she gave me um, two little side plates that match the platter from my great grandma so I just put those up there and I like the way it looks I definitely think it looks a lot better over there on that wall and then uh, I moved the table kind of more underneath the light the light is like a whole thing in itself i did do a little um like makeover on it for now so i was at my dollar store recently and i saw this glittery gold contact paper and just as an experiment i wanted to try covering those glass pieces with something i was thinking about doing something different but i thought this would be a good trial run so i traced them all out and then i attached it and I think it looks worlds better. Is it like 
my final what I would want it to look like probably not but I think it looks way better than it did before so I'm happy with it and it only cost me two dollars total and I still have some paper left so but I feel like it just looks a lot better when you like look in and see it now it's not so in your face I guess I don't know anyway I also hung this photo up that has like a picture and two mirrors on the side with some decor like on the mirror um I love this the mirror is in pretty rough shape because it's old but I still love it anyway I love the gold frame uh, we had this in our basement but I redid an area down there so I thought I would bring it up and put it in the middle and then I moved these shelves over to the side and I also took the very bottom off of the one and attached it to the bottom of the other one so they look more balanced now that's the kind of thing that can really drive me crazy. So I'm definitely feeling a lot better about it now that they've been more balanced. They're kind of like the opposite, like a mirror image of one another, I guess. Anyway, <laughs> that's fine. And then instead of the bar cart, I was online on Pinterest trying to find inspo for the bar cart. <laughs> and I noticed quite a few posts that had turned these old cabinets, I think they're called pie safes, that's what I've been calling it, in and started using it as a bar cart. So I just wanted to try it and see if I liked it and I ended up liking it way better. So I just, I went with it. So we've got these lemons that are actually just made from like porcelain. A lot of times people will think they're real though. And then I just found this like new in box vintage bar set, which I love. And then I just have this tray. I think it's like a fall tray here with like my shaker. And then I have these two fall glasses there and then two, I want to say jars, but that's not what they are for alcohol. They're just empty right now because we haven't filled them. I think decanters is the word I'm looking for. Um, and those are new as well. But then I have these mid-century like picks here that I think I got them from eBay or Etsy a while ago I just think they look cute so I forgot those out there and then the other one I just have like some stir sticks I have these like vintage shell ones that I love and then some like cards and whatever <laughs> and then I also have probably like from the 80s uh this vintage like bar set with like the wood I think there's a wine opener like bottle opener and a few like utensil type ones I really like them they definitely remind me of something like my dad would have had in his bar in like the 80s I feel like lately people have been really weird about alcohol or drinking or like societies like people think it's really bad or something so I don't know I'm just gonna say or feel like I need to say that we actually don't drink that much but I don't think there's really anything wrong with drinking I don't know so we do have what may look like a lot of alcohol in the bar but it's not because we drink all the time most of it is like two years old um but if we do feel like having a drink we have it and we don't really think too much into it but I don't know lately people are being really weird about alcohol like either <laughs> It's like the worst thing ever or anybody who drinks like is obviously an alcoholic, which I just think is really weird. So I ended up keeping a lot of glassware. I'm still trying to like think about what I want to keep or not. Ultimately, I think I would like to just have all different size glasses in this smoke color. That's these are vintage glasses from probably the 70s or 80s. Um, but I do have these really cool green ones that I really like. But I think I'm going to try to just find all of the glasses in that smoke color. And I think it will look um, just like more cohesive. But in general, uh, I feel like this looks a lot better than the bar cart. It doesn't look so busy and cluttered. And it's kind of over in the corner. So it's not like the first thing you see when you look in. I really like these. Um, I use them in the summer. They're very like 80s to me. <laughs> I wish that I had more than just one flamingo because I really like those too. But I just put them down there because I probably won't be using them till next summer. But all in all, I do think it looks much, much better. I also like that it's taller because like I said, we actually use it. It's not just for decoration. So it's like a higher height for making drinks. I don't know. <laughs> 
So that is basically it. That's an overview. I am so much happier with it. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think it looks better now or it looked better before? Or any um, changes you would recommend? Like I said, I'll probably do something with the china cabinet at some point, but I'm not super worried about it right now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave a comment down below. I want to do a q and A. I I filmed a store walkthrough and I feel like I don't know how much commentary I will be able to put over it that's not just super repetitive so I thought maybe I could answer some questions while we did the walkthrough of the store so I'm gonna leave a comment below if you want to leave a question below that and I'm probably gonna do that for a few videos before I end up filming it just to give people a chance if they want to ask me a question but anyway I will see you soon